got to be kidding me. They did it again right here. This is just ridiculous. On this episode of What Went Wrong, so you can learn from it. I'm going to take you around the corner of the chimney here and show you in just a second, but it's too windy and i got to film right here for a sec. So I get called out about a week ago, look at this, the homeowner, homeowner stated he came up, couldn't find the leak, just that it was about around his chimney. He caulked some things up, didn't fix it, had a couple of the companies I believe come out, they couldn't find it. I get called, come out, find the leak within a few minutes looking. I will say it is easy to miss and I do find this common mistake and I'll give you a couple tips so stick around how you can avoid this costly repair okay so around the side of the chimney right here is where he said the leak is coming in it's not a terrible leak it's just dripping through at a ceiling dripping in so I can't really tell what they did with the flashing here but I can tell you it's not what I would have done I like to see extensions there's different flashings whatever this is not that kind of video but I'm going to show you the leak and why it was caused into it if you're going to pre-cut your lead which is what i recommend it's great you make your six inch cuts on your shingles you got one cut you get two pieces you build your rake that way on the ground or somewhere you haven't roofed yet you're not going to cut your stuff why that's important when you're cutting a shingle like they did right here you can see where they cut too deep into the next one i don't know if the gopro is picking it up but that's clean cut through this is not the leak because the head lap goes under i don't think that's the issue although it is close to another so it could kind of jot over that's not the problem. Let's back up a little bit and show you where the leak spot is actually. So standing here, it's solid. You get up to here and it gets rotted. You jump up a few feet. I can put all my weight here and it's not a problem. It is mainly rotted right here. If I push on that, it's gonna fall through. Water's leaking somewhere in here, comes down. Why does it stop? Two sheets probably come together. There's a small gap. It's not gonna just jump across and catch it. It's gonna just soak, absorb, swell, rot, drip, whatever. That's why just a section down, like an inch or so, it's solid. This is rotted. Well, if it comes up and gets started rotted right here and not right there, look in that area. The second reason why I'm not a fan of cutting your lead while installing or nailing a shingle and then cutting it back, you forget to cut it. Believe it or not, I see this. It happened right here. If you look here, here's a shingle somebody cut. They probably took the scrap piece of it and threw it up here. Or actually, look, there's another drip groove here. So you got a tab and a small tab and then another tab. But they have two that are exactly lined up. Well, what the, is the problem is, is the headlamp of this only goes up about that far. You pull this drip groove up and this drip groove up. See what you got in there? You're down to your paper, which is your last defense on the roof. And it's actually dry. I could poke my hand through there. This roof is only about four years old. It was put on in 2016. It's not old. I shouldn't be having this problem. The installer probably got a phone call, checked social media, I don't know. Whatever the case is, he forgot to cut it. That's what happened. This whole thing could have been avoided if he would have cut one over or offset it or something. So if you're pre-cutting your lead, you're not going to forget to cut it because it's pre-cut. So I recommend if you're building leads, cut it. That simple. If you're going around in a, a protrusion or something, you got to cut it there so it all whatever. Cut it before you nail it down. You won't forget that step. That's the leak right here. So we're going to go through, flat bar this section out, replace a piece of wood, and put a piece of ice and water down, shingle it back. If you want to see the video, if I shoot it and edit it, I'll put a card up here for you guys. If not, I apologize. I'm cold. I got to get this done. So I wanted to show you what went wrong so you can learn from it, not make the mistake yourself. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't. To you subscribers, thank you all. Remember, the 2K sub giveaway is coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, maybe you should. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get into this. Until next time, be safe and see you guys then.